All right, hey guys, it is Chris here again with another video. Now, yes, I know I, I do apologize if this video is a couple days late. Um, I have just been very busy with a lot of stuff as I uh, near the end of high school. But anyways, uh, getting back to the video here. Um, so today we're going to be talking about the Shops Riverside uh, phase number three. Now, yes, guys, as you guys know, I made a video about um, the Shops Riverside phase three and what it would include. But we got a little more uh, information now as of uh, five days ago. Um, so apparently some new restaurant from New York City is now expected to open up um, at, at the Shops Riverside in Hackensack, New Jersey. I believe they closed their location in New York City, and I guess now they want to take their chance um, at the Shops Riverside. So... The name of that restaurant is called the LT Bar and Grill, and it's not Lord and Taylor, so you know don't don't assume that. Uh, so LT Bar and Grill uh, is opening up at the shops at Riverside. So we're going to take a look at the article here, um, and then I'll explain a couple of things first. So uh, LT Bar and Grill is opening a two-level restaurant at the shops Riverside as it continues to push to become a luxury shopping destination. The restaurant will be an award-winning chef and will offer an American cuisine and a span of 15,000 square feet between the two floors, officials said. Its offerings will include a sushi bar, a carotid menu of salads, steaks, burgers, classic cocktails, and more. The main dining room will have seating for about 120 guests, and the second floor includes an 8,000 square foot private event space called the Above, and that's Above, by the way, in capital letters, uh, that will accommodate that can accommodate up to 200 people. We are desert, we are delighted to add LT Bar and Grill to our dining offerings at, here at the shops at Riverside. The mall director said, "We pride ourselves in on providing an exceptional restaurant options with upbeat environments." Multiple assignment property groups and minister make you enter into a phase. This just goes over some other things. Um, and uh, other luxury updates include a grin, Balminian crystal chandelier, lavish new floor tile, new sculpture floating stair. Official says the final renovations will bring more changes. A concierge lounge, which is probably going in the lower level of the mall, valet parking, and other dining and shopping options. So I guess it, oh, it stands for Chef Laurette Turchel. It's some uh, native France chef, and this just goes over all his other uh, restaurant chains. But that in itself is very interesting. Now, you might be asking yourselves, how is this restaurant going to be constructed? So what we got here is the lip of the old Cheesecake Factory and Barnes & Noble booksellers. So the entrance that you see here on the left is no longer going to be the entrance of the mall. So they're sh actually shifting the entrance from this part of the mall to now the middle of the mall, which is actually going to make a lot more sense now instead of having all this excess amount of space. And also Barnes & Noble and the Cheesecake Factory are now both on the other side of the mall inside the former Saks Fifth Avenue store. So what they're going to do is they're going to have the entrance right around here and it's going to lead out, and the, the and they are actually raising this entire part of the mall ceiling. Um, they're going to have some kind of balcony here, right here on the left, that's actually going to overlook the southern luxury wing. Um, and interestingly enough, they're going to actually connect that to this part of the mall. It actually kind of all makes sense now. They're going to have the entrance here, and it's going to be one straight line all the way to the uh, eastern part of the mall. Now, I do not think it will be connected to two, through two floors. I think it's only going to be connected through one floor, but it could very well have, have both floors going the same way because they actually never really opened up this part of the mall. And now, I guess, uh, with the new renovation project uh, coming along, they're actually now going to finally uh, open up this part of the mall, which I think will be very nice to finally see that open. So whatever elevator was over here, I believe, has, been, has since been removed. So I do not think they're going to have an elevator here anymore, but I don't know. Anyways. So getting back to the video here, so the LT uh, Bar and Grill, I would assume, is going to be opening up on the right side of the mall in the former Barnes & Noble, and I believe the elevator that that new above restaurant is going to use is the old Barnes & Noble elevator, and I believe that this is a very um, big prediction because I think that they're going to save a little bit of money um, by not completely knocking down the second floor of the former Barnes & Noble store, so now they're actually going to turn that old bookstore space into some new uh, vibrant entertainment space at a, quote, exclusive uh, uh, private event area on the second floor of the LT Bar and Grill. So, anyways, um, so...
some very interesting stuff is is happening at the shops riverside i i'm actually looking forward to seeing the new wing uh open up um probably when i get back from uh college i obviously am not going to see it and yes i know i'm gonna miss out on Stu leonard's um i just won't be i just won't be around for that un unfortunately um, so anyways, so that's about going to do it for this video, guys. I know it's quick and short, but I figured I'd give you guys some updated information about how, uh, the new restaurant is going to look at the, at the shops Riverside mall and how the new mall entrance is going to look and everything else in the, um, third phase of the redevelopment plan at the shops Riverside. So anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Also happy father's day to anyone who has fathers, you know, appreciate that. Um, also a happy father's day to my father, but. Anyways, again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, Enjoy, and I uh, hope you enjoy your Father's Day. That will be it.